Oh no, I need to take out the trash right now. Take out the trash at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Put it on my life calendar. Okay, thank God. I can rest easy. And you can rest easy too by using Morgan's insanely fast command bar. See how quick and easy I was able to put that in my calendar? I can even put other tasks in extremely quickly like this. Take out the recycling and then put it on high priority. Make sure it's on the right task list of life. And then boom, within a second, it's right here. Take out the recycling. Now, if I wanted to do it anywhere close to as fast as that, I would have had to, especially if I'm in this view, I would have had to go, okay, click, open up. Um, um, oh, okay. Take out the recycling. Cool, thanks. Or in the case of making this take out the trash, I mean, we're talking, we're having to do this, change the calendar, then take out the trash, then click on save. It's a whole ordeal, but this command bar, 12 times better. It's simple and easy to use. Just log into your Morgan calendar and then press Control or Command K, and then boom, what do we have here? We have a few different options that are extremely easy to use. First is create event, second is create tasks, and then also there is a myriad of different shortcuts that are shown here. But you don't need to remember any shortcuts for this. You simply need to type out what you wanna do. So for example, I could put a productive work session at 3 p.m. in 11 City Diner in Chicago. And then boom, I can put that I'm gonna go to this coffee shop that I do go to for work fairly often. And the location is right here. Now, even though you can disable the shortcut, you also are still able to click on this right here. And this will make the command bar pop up even if you don't press the shortcut. So say I know I want to meet with a buddy of mine during this time slot right here. So I'm just gonna set up a meeting time for meeting with Amit. And then you can see right here, I put with, or if I wanted to, I could put the at symbol and then it would find different people that I have invited that had Ahmet in the section right there. This is awesome. Then I can put Cal Rise Productive rather than typing the backslash. I have the option to say Cal and that's very easy. So I don't even need to use a shortcut here. And that's the case with a lot of these. I can put in and then space and then type out the location. And I can put WeWork Office Space Chicago. I could also say tag and have it be a planning session. So without needing to use any of the shortcuts, all those are very easily done too. Then boom, press save, we're good to go. You know, I, I couldn't do any better than this before this feature existed. I was clicky clacking all over this app. And I have to tell you, this is a nice upgrade. As you notice throughout this whole experience, if I do this again, based on whatever I'm writing, I'm gonna put like meeting with, um, it ended up giving me more ideas on what I should then put in there. These additional recommendations are very convenient in the case of what you saw, they did come in handy. And when I put with Ahmed, it ended up trying to get me to add him to the event, which is very accurate because I did need him on the event. That's, that's exactly what I was trying to do. When a computer smarter than me, which is all the time, I very much appreciate it. Now, obviously you can also create tasks with this. So I can say, take out the trash and then do save task. If I go here to the task section and click on this, you can see take out the trash is there. Now, well, this is a trope that I've used in many of my videos before. I'm gonna do another event for an example and put take out the garbage and then I can do slash life. And then I can do, as you can see, if I hover over here, there's a task list option. So if I press this symbol right here, I could put it into the life section. And then I can also set a priority for high cause it's so high. I just need to take the trash out, okay? And press enter and boom. See on the left here, I do have to take out the garbage. Now, important thing to note is if I go to my settings here, go to profile and preferences and go to the shortcuts section. Obviously you can see that there's the command K for the toolbar. Now, what if, for example, I'm gonna be working in a tool that has that same key bind? I would definitely want to turn that off in the other features, change it in the other features, Soon we'll be updating it so that you can change this. However, in the future, we're gonna be updating it so that you can change this. However, for the meantime, you're gonna to have to disable anything in other products in order for this to work. And then if we go to the general section over here, you can see that we are by default gonna have control shift K blocked. And the reason by default, we're gonna have global command bar with control shift K disabled. Now, if I enable this, that would then mean that if I were to go to anywhere on the screen, I could then press Control Shift K 
and then it would prompt me back into Morgan with the command bar, which I don't want it to be disabled, but I had to show it in some sort of way so that you could see the feature and it would look organic in this video. And now the most organic thing that I can do from this point is just recommend that if you haven't tried out Morgan, go get it, try the global command bar to be enabled and capture everything regarding events and tasks insanely quickly using this feature today. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out all of our other great tutorials on how to use Morgan today.